Hey there folks and uh, welcome to this video. It's time for me to wrap up 2021. Believe it or not, I'm actually still recording this in 2021. It's actually 6pm but I can't see anything outside because, you know, seasons happen and time changes and stuff and I woke up at mid-afternoon so I missed the last proper like daylight daylight. It's all cloudy and murky because I live in Britain. And here yeah, I'm just going to talk about, well, the year that we've had. Um... It's been a year of highs and lows. It, it definitely has been for a lot of us. Um, we've spent the whole year in a pandemic that a lot of people thought we'd be out of at this point. Well, especially March 2020, we thought we'd be out of it by now. But Going into 2022, still dealing with it. Um, and I know, at least those around me, there's a lot of people who... I wish we're still here at the end of this year that aren't. So it's been a tough year for a lot of us for a lot of reasons. But there's always a reason to be optimistic. And I know for me, I I wouldn't say that, you know, 2021 has been the best year of my life. I think I'd put that in like mid-19 to mid-20. So, like... Actually, I think it would be starting around... Yeah, June 2019 to June 2020. Um, there are all kinds of things that have been brilliant outside of that time period. Um... Like some of my favorite kind of regulars in this channel have come in since then. But I know that I've had a lot of tough times personally since then. Some of the toughest I've actually been through. But at the same time, 2021's had a lot of like upsides for me. Uh, some amazing content. Some of which I still haven't shared with you guys yet. Um, some of which I will share in the new year. But in addition to like stuff that you haven't seen the stuff that you did see included an interview with richard morris which was a lot of fun to do um one with hazel Alpha as well which was so fantastic to do like in 2020 i had an idea that i was going to do um interviews in pride month and that happened and it was well brilliant i might try and work on some other things like that for next year i also got to work for f1 i've had this hanging up since i went to the british grand prix in july working in the paddock Part of the media. It says on the F1 esports. That's another thing that I have to say has been fantastic. Um, in terms of, I wanted to have worked in, had a job to do with sim racing where I've been paid for sim racing stuff in my life. I wanted to be um, able to work in and around motorsport at some point in my life, and I wanted to work somewhere in education at some point in my life, and I've managed to dip my toes in all three and like I'm 22 not even 23 yet so that's been so much fun to be able to do it's been so fantastic and some of the experiences I've had this year I wouldn't change for the world I think that's the thing in terms of me personally I wouldn't change what I've done this year for anything else in the world. I've now got a master's degree in public history. Um, I'm working on, still working on what I think was probably one of my favourite projects to have worked on. An idea that I've had for well over two years now. That hopefully I could start to share with you in the next couple of weeks. Because well, it's the off season for said series is still going but it's quite short probably figure out what it is in a moment actually um when well probably before i actually release it oh sorry but i think the main thing for me that's been brilliant is that i've been able to get through a lot like i spent christmas with covid i only started testing negative on boxing day so not even a week ago There have been so many wonderful people that I've met, so many wonderful experiences I've had, and I've been happy as always to be able to share it with you guys. 
done again well over 400 videos this year i don't know if it gets towards the 500 mark like it has done in previous years but i know it's over 400. it might even be towards 500 when it comes to thinking about um streams but there has been so much to enjoy and Next year, 2022, there's going to be more to enjoy. I know it. It's it's hard because on the one on the one hand, I think about the harsh reality of this world. Um, I've struggled a lot in the past couple of weeks with a more existential mindset, but I've been able to enjoy all I'm doing to the same degree, and I just want to keep going. I always want to keep going. There's just not ever enough time for me to do everything I want to do. I'll do little bits. I'll do some bits to the full extent. Do some bits for only a little time and not do much. But yeah, I'm... I'm in a good place looking forward to the new year. With new parts of my PC and a new rendering engine that's now like nine times the speed of what I had before. But I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, have a brilliant new year. Hope you're staying safe wherever you are in the world. And if you're ready in the new year, tell me how 2022 is because I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. For now. <laughs>